guys, how's it going? We're looking at the uh, RSOE map here of the U.S. And I came across a couple things. I know about this uh, right here, which is supposed to be, uh, but it's not. I thought this was the, uh, not the SARS, but the MERS that they're uh, talking about scaring everybody with but the uh, MERS is the one up here I believe yeah Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome MERS the first case coronavirus in the United States has been reported so we got some other stuff going on that's uh, unknown and very deadly, way more deadly than MERS or SARS or any of that. Uh, this is some uh, some serious stuff here, and they don't know exactly what it was. They just knew it was bad. Two people died. Um, four people were infected. They was cleaning out an old mobile home of theirs, and uh, they all got sick. But two of them died, the mother and her teenage daughter. So it doesn't seem like age has any effect on this thing. This is another article, new information on illness that killed um, Pulaski County mother and daughter. Now we've been looking at an increase here in the last few years of H1N1, H5N1, uh, all these different illnesses and sicknesses. A um, big increase in it. And uh, I'm going to get to a reason here in just a minute. I'm going to show you. North Carolina Weekly Influenza Surveillance Summary. And guys, if they can surveillance people and find out who's sick, it's easy for them to go one step further and surveil you for whatever else. But they get this most of this information. The hospital has to report it to the CDC or the state-run um, whatever, you know. But we can see... You can go to this report if you want. I'll leave the links to it all. Mysterious illness. Deadly unknown respiratory disease kills two in Alabama. Okay. There's two more that died of this unknown respiratory disease. Kills two in Alabama. Okay, so that's... Um, Two in in uh, where's this at? Virginia. I'm not sure, but um, we've got this going around. Here's some other reports of stuff. And see how much it's climbing there. And uh, this little guy is the bandit for the hunter virus. They say this guy carries the hunter virus, but squirrels and stuff like that doesn't. Well, I wouldn't be so sure about that, but that's what they say anyway. That this little guy right here is the culprit for it. Little mouse, okay? Mice are everywhere. They can get into anything. We all know that. By, you know, them invading our homes. This is Hunter Virus. It's the CDC. This is the HS, I'm sorry, HPS cases. 
Now this is the new strain of hantavirus that is a respiratory infection from hantavirus. It's, it's killing people. So we've got all these cases of hantavirus being reported. I mean, even over here in Florida, and we've got some states that doesn't have it reported. This was the suspect of the case where the mom and the, her daughter died. They was thinking maybe it was this thing. But they found out that it was um, influenza along with strep throat and some kind of a respiratory infection. This is the CDC directly transmitted by rodents. The Hantavirus pulmonary syndrome. Pulmonary syndrome. Rodents involved. Rats, mice. Hemorrhagic fever, stripped field mouse, brown or Norway rat, bank bull. I mean, these are all these uh, animals that can carry these diseases. You can go check it out. Here's maps and statistics of the human plague. And uh, it has been on the rise here in the last several years as well. I believe that some of this stuff is probably coming from south of the border with our uh, neighbors from Mexico coming in here illegally and not getting the proper medical care they you know are probably carrying some of these diseases right on across the border I know that leprosy was just about eradicated from the United States until it was reintroduced through illegal a immigrants and uh, now there's you know dozens of cases of leprosy a year but what I'm wondering is, is this, why are they keeping so quiet with this when the MERS virus is not near as deadly and not nearly as, as bad, not nearly as widespread? I mean, why is that? The, the MERS is such a big deal. But they don't say a word about this. Mystery illness in Texas that has killed six people is not H1N1. Looks more like a deadly avian virus. Now we've got stuff that's killing people and nobody's saying anything about it. They're too, uh, you know, focused on MERS and H1N1. And personally, I believe the culprit to be these big white stripes that we see up in the sky every day when we go outside. Because climate change has been directly connected to the rising of these illnesses and disease. But you can see the hunter virus has, has become so, quite a thing here. See here, climate change may make flu season worse. Well, absolutely, they're spraying all this crap on us. You know, when you've got planes dumping out this kind of stuff behind it, making the days moist, muggy, um, you know, causing the, just the whole weather system to be screwed up, is a breeding ground for virus, mold, spores, stuff like that. 
humid, moist, instead of a cold, dry winter, we've had uh, spurts of humid and moisture. Snow melting, and it'll freeze again, and and go white again. Everything will, but there's definitely connection here and we've got articles that back it up 2013 allergy season could be the worst ever thanks to climate change some experts say and I believe these experts are right on because I don't know about you guys but I've from what I've heard from people in the community uh, they've never experienced this kind of allergy season before that are you know making people sick and stuff and I believe there's more than just allergies involved I believe they uh, have unleashed pathogens on us and if it wasn't for the human body immune system that's an awesome weapon against this stuff we would probably all be dead But anyway, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of evidence to back it up that you know, all this weather manipulation they're doing, all this geoengineering, these chem trails that we see is a big problem with this stuff could be part of the cause. Anyways, I thought this was interesting and I thought I'd bring this to you. I'll leave the links to everything down below so you guys can go check it out for yourselves and you know research it and go see what I'm talking about I mean it's not not just that we have the Gulf of Mexico that's got these live um, organisms in it that eats organic material it was put there to eat the oil from the oil spill. Well, it eats human flesh as well. It eats, uh, you know, dolphins, fish, all these animals they're finding with sores and stuff on them. It eats their flesh as well. So they've continued to poison the earth and they'll continue to do so. And there's irreparable damage done already. Anyway, I hope everyone's well, having a good day. Just do your best to uh, do all that you can. And always try to be honest. Help one another. Learn to love one another. Because that's who we're going to have when it comes down to the end. We'll have each other. God bless and good luck to us all. Never give up your guns. Second Amendment right protects the first and the last. All amendments in between. This is Chatty Dad 1 over and out.